Boa! <laughs> hey, you bitch! Oh my god, finally! You called me back. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And what's going on, Pri? During the Candace Drag Race anniversary extravaganza, you called me out for not texting you back. We would have coffee together every, every morning. And then all of a sudden, you dropped me and a lot of your old friends too. You don't answer my messages anymore. When you need something, you text me. I message you, you don't respond for a week or so. Uh -huh. so do you regret calling me out on international television? No, oh my God, God no, not at all. I was salty with you and frankly, you deserved it, so. Yeah, you're so good at communication. It must be nice to have all that free time. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you'll have it soon enough, so don't worry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch! You bitch! Bitch, I'm Such a busy bitch. Now, you stay busy being the best communicator in the world, picking up everyone's phone calls, but mm. hey, what actually keeps you busy? Well, ooh, I have a shrine of you right now. It's in my bedroom. <laughs> it's like a bunch of photos, <laughs> and there's like a dartboard. I have a voodoo doll. But for real, things are open. Like, the gigs are good, so mama, she's working. What keeps you busy? Mama, listen. Everything keeps me busy because I work so hard and I'm just trying to stay relevant in this industry. This show takes you and just throws you into the air and then it tells you not to be friends with Boa. Well, how's that going for you, bitch? <laughs> it's not, not bad. For me, the best thing was is people coming up to me and being like, I always knew that famous change you Boa was right. Hashtag team Boa and I was like, me too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, bitch, let's not say fame. How many How many followers you got right now? I have 398,000 <laughs> followers. How many do you have? I have 300, uh, f off. <laughs> Two for you, one for me. <laughs> <laughs> the rain is almost coming to an end. Are you excited that I'll be no longer reigning as Canada's drag race superstar? Empress of the North, Queen of the North, Canada's Drag Race Superstar. To me, you will always be the Wicked Witch of the North, so don't <laughs> you let that get you down. One second. Uh, well, oh. Hello? Hi, no. No, not busy. Yeah. Shut up, really? One second, one second. What's happening? Great, okay. Um, it's not important, so, yeah. Okay, I'll be there 20 minutes. Yeah, she's looking kind of rough, to be honest. <laughs> on another note, are you watching Canada's Drag Race season two, Thursdays on Crave and on WoW Presents Plus? Girl, you know I am. I just updated my subscription to WoW Presents Plus and I've got Crave on my TV. I watch it all day and all night and then I go over to your shrine and set fire to it. Set fire to it! <laughs> so, how do you feel about forgiveness? Well, I forgive you. The person we were yesterday when you wouldn't answer my calls, we're always changing and we're always evolving and growing and I think that forgiveness kind of lines up with growing as a person. It's a weird question. I wasn't expecting to get it on this Dr. Phil right here. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's very Dr. Phil. It's tough when two performers that are friends call each other out when it comes to like forgiving you or you forgiving me. I don't want to forgive you to make myself feel better, but it's more just like I want us to forgive each other to like be on the same page about what our expectations are of the friendship that we have. Boa, how do you feel now that we've had this conversation? I feel good and I feel like I just, a, a weight, like a good 200 pounds has been taken off of my chest. That's how much you weigh, right? 200, 230 maybe? <laughs> um, you bitch. And I just feel like so much lighter now. How do you feel? <sighs> I feel... <laughs> I feel like everything is back to normal. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm fucking dead. Not this is yours, right? <laughs> I hate you.